Hello everybody, um, I just wanted to show you a quick video of some festival designs that uh, are designed by myself. Um, such uh, small designs can be very useful for, uh, yeah, for festivals or especially for kids because kids have smaller hands and something uh, normal would not fit on their hands and one time I was making one design and uh, kids uh, were really loved those. So we start with something uh, simple, well flowers are really a basic uh, motif. So start with the circle and just make, oh, it doesn't want to go out, and just make one basic flower. Well, uh, the leaves of the flowers can have different shapes. This is my favorite. It looks like a daisy. To get out. I'm sorry I'm not used to, to make this on paper, I'm usually used to, uh, to do it on hand, this is my first video, so I'm sorry. <laughs> A little bit shady. On hand it looks better for sure. I tried this design, so... Then... This is old henna I used. I didn't uh, just mix henna just to make like this. This is one henna I forgot somewhere in my bag and I thought, yeah, to make before I waste the paste completely, just better show something on paper that can be useful I know the lines are not perfect as I said it's the first time that I do this on paper and on paper it doesn't need to be perfect I just want to show you that with some simple steps you can make some lovely designs for festivals and the kids really loved those. One time I was on a small festival and most of my customers were kids and they just wanted ch such small things because they they might be small but uh, when you have small kids then they sometimes cover the full hand. Or sometimes I had a mom, a mother with child coming to me and the child wanted the same but the, as the mom but doesn't work because the hand was too so. So this is the first one I made as a uh, very, very simple flower with two leaves and I, I love these dots. Dots are always such a small, nice detail to make. So now we're going to make uh, something bigger. Uh, kids love hearts, especially small girls, and I have some designs with hearts, some for kids, uh, some for adults. It's always up to the size of the hand. So we just start with a uh, moment. Just start with. Uh, Simple heart. Mm. 
and small girls really love hearts. Hola. Moved my camera too much. So I think I'm a little bit. I open this cone a little before it's an old cone so the henna inside is not the best anymore and it's not going so smoothly anymore as it usually should do. Hopla. That I didn't want but I think it's no problem. Then you make one around So it's already difficult because the cone is already small. So it's a little bit difficult to handle. And then the just simple thing you do is you just make some leaves around. I try to make all leaves to be the same size that it fits good around the heart. You do not need um, always to have here two uh, free behind. I just make it how I mean because yeah, it's always up to the size. Some are some bigger, some are smaller. Then here outside I make it thicker. Sometimes it's a detail that makes a design to look good. When I started, I always let my leaves like this and I didn't make them outside, outside thick like this. And there is a big difference when you cover, for example, the, the full hand and I didn't make shading inside of it. I just let them bald, but it makes really a huge difference. It's just eye catch. If you make it like this. But here I'm not shading, I just make simple dots inside of the leaves. Yeah, and that's how it is. That's how the heart looks like. It doesn't look now so good as it looks on my design paper because, yeah. I, with this cone is not good anymore to handle as I already said before and one more thing I show you with with a paisley just start with a full paisley Uh, paisley, there are so many ways uh, to fill the paisley. I have seen simple one just with shading. I have seen some more complicated. It's always up to what, what you make. I think it's a simple, if it's a simple design, then uh, the fill of the paisley can be simple. 
too but for example when you do it for weddings and it's a big design then yeah it's always up to how you like it and how it fits so and now I just make some flowers around I have uh, some different kind of festival designs. I have those uh, single designs like this I show you right now in uh, different sizes. For example, the one I made before, the heart and the flower. Um, for this I charge less than for this year because it's bigger and yeah, then I have some uh, simple festivals design which cover the hand from, from uh, the palm from here to the finger or just some, something simple in the middle like a mandala. I, love, I really love my diaries. So I hope to make, um, I had to show you an ebook later with one mandala design. I think I have five. Um, I do, I do not make henna so long, well I do it since uh, 2007, but, uh, to draw, but I was only drawing what came into my mind and I made it directly on my hand, I didn't do much for others, just for, for my friend, oh, she was poor, I, the first design she got from me, it looked so horrible, I'm happy that I don't have a picture of that anymore, but when I started to, to draw on paper, I don't know, I think it was now in 2010 when I started to go to festivals. So I think I have now five mandala designs or six. I hope to show you some later. And now what you make is some... What you make is some leaves. I've also seen some different kind of leaves, but I like it to look natural. I generally love, sleeve, love leaves and flowers and I'm very nature loving. So I do not know if I have any design which is not with flowers, but now I want to make some Moroccan designs and I'm going to make my first ebook which will be full of Moroccan designs. I hope it will work well. So that it uh, no I forgot to make here to make them a little bit more fat outside. Yeah, so that it is. This is my last festival design I want to show for you. As I said, it doesn't look so good, but yeah, I explained to you it's the first time I work on paper. The cone was very bad. If you want, uh, just put uh, comments down below. If you want to see it on the skin, I will try to make a video of this too. Just comment down below. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys.